Hey everybody, it's Liz Love here, and I wanted to do a tutorial for all of you on how to use PicMonkey. I know that I've talked about it a ton, and I know a lot of you use it, some of you don't, some of you are afraid of it, so I thought I would do a fun little walkthrough so that you guys can get a glimpse, um, you know, how best to use it to benefit you in your business. So here's the main page of PicMonkey. There is um, a free version and then a paid version. I use the paid version because I think there's uh, better fonts and better options, but it's totally up to you guys what you want to be using. And so when you come to the top of the page right up here, you're going to see lots of options for ways to make your collages. You can edit pictures. So <clears throat> this is where you can go to upload a picture of yourself and then add text over the top of it. You can touch up pictures. You can design and then right here you can choose whatever size design you want to make. So if you want to design a Facebook cover for an upcoming group or for your personal Facebook page, you can come there if you want to start with a blank canvas. And then collage. I'd say this is the most common tab that I use. So I'm going to start here so we can talk about options for you guys to use. So whenever you click collage, you are always going to have to select a picture. Whether you use that picture or not is totally up to you. It's just sort of the way that this little tab works. So I'm just gonna click a random picture. And then it should bring it up to the left. And there is my picture to the left. And now right here in the middle, you're going to see the collage that it starts with. And you don't have to choose this collage. Over to the left where this little button is, where it says layout, so you're going to click that. And then lots of options are going to come up here for any kind of layouts you want to use. So you can take your pick on anything that you want to use. I'm going to design a Facebook cover today. And I'm just going to choose this one. And now if you wanted to insert a picture, you're going to do that at a later time, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Right now, from this screen, I'm going to click these boxes off so that I've just got one big flat surface for this Facebook cover. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to insert a swatch here. And there's tons to choose from from this drop down bar. And I'm going to go to my favorite, which is Winterland, and I love the gray chevron. And so I just dragged it right over. And so then your next question probably is going to be, well, okay, so I've got this chef on here, and what do I do next? How do I add text? How do I add pictures? Really simple. You're going to go right up to the top up here, and you're going to click Edit. And then it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to open it in Editor? And I click Yes. And then that's going to take me to a whole new set of options on the left-hand toolbar. You're going to see a cropping option. You're going to be able to touch up. You're going to be able to change colors. You're going to be able to add text. The butterfly symbol is the, called overlays, and that's all the different shapes and pictures. So right now, I'm going to add text to this. So you just click Add Text, and your little box is going to come up right here. And so we are going to do... I'm going to create a Facebook banner for my new Team Love to Be Fit new coach training page. So you got your text, and then your little text box over here, you can drag anywhere you want. And this is where you're going to select, you know, do you want it left center, right center, middle, um, your font size, any kind of color that you want. And then to the left is where you're going to select your actual fonts. So. I already know what my fonts are for my um, team logo because I kind of have those set. So I'm going to go over here and scroll down. There's so many fonts to choose from. It's so much fun. And then I'm just going to start changing, you know, all my stuff around and changing my fonts and changing my colors so that they're exactly what I want them to be. Actually, I think the fit is a turquoise. It is. And then love is pink. So it's pretty simple, that part of it, you know, choosing your colors and then obviously I want to make this bigger. 
And you can type in how big you want it to be and see how it does that funky little thing. All you need to do is select it and then drag it to the left and then drag it to the right. I'm gonna move that and then I'm gonna move this and center this. And then there it is, I'm not done. I'm gonna keep editing it, but I wanna go back and I wanna show you guys lots of other things that you can do. So I'm gonna click this off. And it's gonna be mad at me because I'm not gonna save the changes. It's fine. So another thing I wanna show you how to do is to make a collage for, like if you're gonna do um, a Facebook post for an upcoming challenge group, this is what I use most often is this collage. So let's go to desktop, let's go to coaching, let's find a picture of me, and let's just grab that picture. And then here it is up to the left again. And so I am going to put this picture right here. I'm going to move that around. Perfect. And then it's up to you whether you want to fill these boxes with backgrounds or swatches, as I like to call them. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, so I'm going to go click Edit. It's going to ask me again. I'm going to open it in Editor. And then here's my picture, and I've got this whole blank white space to do whatever I want with. So here's your chance to get creative and do whatever you want next to your picture. You can add in your overlays, text, anything that you want. So I'm going to go down. One of my favorite overlays sections is down here in labels. This is definitely the one that I use the most. Uh, there's tons of different things to choose from. So I'm going to grab that circle. And see, it's fun, you can move it anywhere you want. You can change the color. I'm a huge color person. And then you can add text on top of that. And my current challenge group is called Summer Slim Down. And so, Let's say you're planning ahead for your next month. You know, I always plan ahead what my group is going to be called so that I can talk about it in whatever post I'm going to do. And then, so see how I've got my text here? This is going to be something that happens a lot, you guys. And now, where did my little text box go for me to edit this text? Sometimes it just disappears. So what you have to do is click off of it, click back on the text, and then here it is. It pops back up. For some reason, it does that. Don't ask me why. I'm not quite sure. So then I'm going to move this around. I'm going to center this. I'm going to turn that turquoise. And then I want to change that down to make it a little bit smaller so that I can fit this in my circle. And then I'm going to move it around. Now I want to make it bigger. Perfect. Center that. And there are so many different things you can do, guys. I'm just using these as examples. Another great overlay that I like is the banners. I'm going to show you a fun trick with these to write text on. So you can make them as big or as small as you want. And then I'm going to have it so whatever you don't see on the page, so it's just going to be cut off, which I kind of like sometimes. I'm going to make that a fun yellow. And then you can put text on top of that. And if I wanted to, I could carry this all the way over on top of my picture. You can do anything you want with it. And then to add text, you click that Add Text button. And there it is right there. You can write whatever you want. And see, look, my little text editing option went away. So I clicked it off, clicked it back on. I'm going to do right justified and I'm going to make my text white. And let's use, I love that font. And then we're going to drag this down over here. And my font is way too big. So we're going to click on there again and make it smaller. Still too big, but I'm going to click that down there. And I actually think the white font it doesn't stand out as good. So maybe you need to change your font anything, but here's just another 
tip on how to make these types of pictures. Okay, I'm gonna click that off and show you one more thing to do. So I'm going to go in to edit, and I'm gonna choose a picture from my computer, and I'm just gonna choose that same one. And then this is a really fun way to keep your posts really simple and write whatever you want over it. So I'm just gonna add text on top of my picture. Add text. And you can do any kind of quote you want. I mean, you could do a quote, you could do, you know, join me for my May root starts May 4th. Whatever you want, no quotations, I don't like that. Let's change the font a little bit here. It's another one of my favorite fonts is Sketchblock. I'm gonna extend that. I'm gonna center that. I'm gonna guess that that's gonna be too big because it's on my head. <laughs> So let's make that font a little bit smaller. Perfect. And then you could even go in and add an overlay, like something to the right over here. These are always fun, so you could put this overlay. And then you can rotate it. And then move that over here. You could change the color of this to anything you want. You've got the color box here that you can choose from. Obviously, I'm a huge fan of pink. <laughs> you can make it slanted. You can do anything you want with it. And then you can also add text on top of that. So that's just a simple way to, you know, add text, and then if you even wanted to add your own picture on top of the picture, there's a really great thing you can do. You can come up here into overlays, which is the butterfly, and then up at the top where it says your own, you're gonna click on that, and then that's gonna bring me to anywhere. You can click on your desktop, you can go and click any picture that you want, so I'm just gonna click this picture. Not that I would put two pictures on top of each other, but you can just see how I've added another picture on top of a picture. So there are so many different things that you guys can do with PicMonkey. So hopefully that this was really helpful. And if you have any questions, comment below or private message me. You guys know that I'm always here to help you walk through all of this. It's pretty awesome. Thanks, guys.